Hi everyone! So I'm really loving this little 12 days of crafting Christmas with me. So I did a tutorial already on how to make these candy canes and you can see I've gone, I've gone crazy and made a bunch of different size ones and most of them are this smaller size right here. I love this size but some of them are larger like this size. So when I cut the wire, sometimes I end up with an extra piece of wire that's too long for the candy canes. So you can see I've made quite a bit here. Like I said, they're just like all different sizes. So that's why I started making like little tiny ones because this was just like a leftover wire. And I hate throwing anything away. So then I started doing wire wraps with them as well. So I have like this one right here that I wire wrapped. And there's just some more in here. There's some that are double-ended. So I'm going to show you how I've been wrapping these. So I'm going to show you these two different ways right here. This one has that infinity knot at the bottom like the candy canes do. I'm going to show you right here. Kind of looks like a figure eight or a little infinity symbol. And then the other one is where I did just a double-ended of wire wrapping. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't have any extra wire because I've actually used it all. Um, like I said, I've been making these tiny ones. Like, look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, I just love these. So yeah, I've gone a little candy cane crazy and don't know what I'm going to do with them all yet. I think I'm going to send it out in happy mail. So let's see. Probably don't need more than like three inches. So I'm going to probably cut like three inches here. And that might be even too much. We'll find out. And then, so I got my three inch wire. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our wire right here. So let's see, if we're gonna do the infinity knot, I'm gonna put it at the end of our round nose wires, swing it all the way around. So now it's wrapped all the way around that top nose of the wire and it's up against the bottom one. Then we're gonna open our pliers and just bring that um wire to the inside right there like this then we're going to swing it back on to the pliers so now it looks like that so now we have that little like figure eight there the little infinity symbol and we're going to bring the wire up towards the middle right in between the two ends of the wire and that's how we're going to create our little figure eight infinity knot. Okay, sorry guys. I still get like a tickle in my throat and I start choking. So now that we have our little um, infinity knot here, now we're just going to hold the bottom and then have our wire and just kind of like straighten it out. Like that. There you go. And then you see we have like our little like figure eight infinity down here at the bottom. And then you're just going to go ahead and stack some beads. Where did I put my beads? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I'm such a mess. So here's my little box of beads right here. So I just pulled some stuff out of my stash. So let's take like, um, let's do a clear. So just put like a clear on. And go ahead and put a red. And then we'll add another clear here. And this was too long, so three inches was too long. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go right at the base. And we are going to push it down. So it's now, like, looks like an L or 90 degree angle. And then you're going to now swing your pliers so they're now stacked on top. You're going to swing the wire up and over. Then you're going to hold your beads, take your wires your pliers out and then you're going to put the bottom of your nose round nose pliers at the into the loop then you're going to take this extra wire and you're just going to go all the way up to the base of your pliers and you see that um there's a little bit of extra right here of wire and that's what we're going to wrap around so just with my hands i'm just going to go ahead and just spin it around that wire, I could usually get it around like three times to about there. And then now we can just go ahead and cut that extra little bit of wire off right there. And then if you have it down to the proper size, you'll just be able to um, wrap the whole thing all the way around. So there is our little wrap. So now we're going to do another one where we have 
the bottom be a loop as well so i'll just stick with the three inches of wire here cut that off and then what we're going to do is we're going to need to leave just a little bit of wire to just go ahead and come down and then this is the wire that we are going to use to go ahead and twist around. So there we go. You see it's wrapped up there so we just wrapped our wire around. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stack our beads on here. So we'll do the same thing. I'll do another clear, a red, and another clear here. Then we're going to do the same thing and wrap the top. So we're just going to put our pliers down here at the base. Push it over this way. Now stack our pliers. Swing that wire up and over. Remove our pliers and put the bottom nose of the plier back into our loop. Then just with our fingers, just go ahead and twist that wire around. So this is where I have my flat nose um, pliers. So if it is a little bit tight, you could just go ahead and use your round pliers. And then we're just going to snip just that tiny little bit of piece off right there. Just a little bit of wire right there. And we are going to snip that off. And then now we have our double loop. And then we have our little infinity knot with our loop on top. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys were able to see everything that I did with those. And if you guys have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. And I'm more than happy to help you guys. In case you guys um, missed my other video on how to create these, I will try to remember to leave a link down below. But I did do a tutorial. I love this one with the bell. I think I need to make more of these with the bell. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a tutorial down below. And then these you can do in any size. It just kind of depends. Like I said, like this one, I had a lot of extra wire. So I did this one. I really don't like, you know, wasting product if I can use it for something. So that's how I came out with all these weird different sizes. You know, if I didn't always measure, I just used my extra. So um, like I said, I'll try to leave a link to that down below. And then you can always stick a jump ring at the top and then add a ribbon, which is what I wanted to do because... I wanted to use some of these as ornaments or um, you can just go ahead and just add the rib ribbon straight on and kind of just hang it as well or just stick it straight on your tree which is what Sunny Boy did he just stuck it straight onto the tree like that without any ribbon and just put it on there so it's kind of up to you guys so all right hope you guys are having a beautiful day and we'll see you later bye guys